Imagine a Pokemon game that takes place in the far, far future, but where you time travel back in time to stop a series of events that lead up to a massive war throughout all of the Pokemon regions. So I was just sitting, chilling, you know, thinking to myself about random Pokemon games, like what could Pokemon do next? Because Pokemon games need a storyline, you know what I'm saying? Every single Pokemon game has its own storyline, and with Pokemon Legends Arceus, that took place in the past, which was an amazing game, and I hope we get like a sequel to that game or more Legends games in general. I just really, really like that game, but that got me thinking, what if we had a game that was like in the far, far future? But then when I was thinking about that, I also was like, well, maybe a Pokemon game that was in the far, far future would be a little bit boring almost. I mean, I'm not a game like designer or developer or story writer or anything like that. I have no experience with that, but I kind of came up with like a small random storyline ish type of thing, if that makes sense, about a Pokemon game that I would actually love to play. So I actually don't have a name, like a specific name for this random game that I came up with, but I guess Legend Celebi would actually make sense because Celebi is a huge main like staple Pokemon within this game. And I was also thinking like some sort of paradox type of game. So like Pokemon Paradox Celebi. I don't know if that even makes sense or not, but that's what I'm going with right now. So within this game, you start off in the far future, like, I don't know, hundreds of years in the future. So this means Pokemon are different, you know, the styles, aesthetics are all different. I don't know if this would take place in a previous region or if it's a brand new generation. I guess I'll leave that up to you guys. What would you rather see this be? Would you rather have this be like a game that takes place in Johto or something or have it be its own region? But basically, there's a massive, massive war that happened and it destroys like several regions within the Pokemon world, like the entire map. And I was also thinking it might be cool if you were able to like actually travel from one region to another within this game. Like maybe there would be three Pokemon regions in this game, like a huge open world style game where you can travel from Johto, Kanto, I don't know, literally whatever three you could think of. I don't know why I'm saying three, but I feel like if you have every single region in one game, that'd be almost too much. But I, I would love to see that one day. Just imagine a Pokemon game with every single region in it. But that's besides the point. That's a whole nother topic, a whole nother video that I'll maybe do in the future. It's kind of interesting. But within this game, because it takes place in the future, you can time travel. Time travel is like more of a relevant thing. It's not like a common thing, but it's more of a thing that people can actually do. But it's really like finicky. It's not fully thought out it's not fully developed so it's kind of risky you know you're taking a risk when you're time traveling so so you as the main character have to go back in time to try to fix and alter events that will lead up to this war so the war doesn't actually happen so you go back in time a couple hundred years prior and you try to find specific people to talk to to try to kind of build like a team warn them about what's going to happen try to build some sort of like task force in a way to prevent a future Pokemon war all-out war from happening but here's the thing you can't actually get back the time machine is broken you are unable to go back to your your present day which is you know a couple hundred years in the future so your task is to find Celebi which Celebi only appears during a peaceful time so you have to find Celebi during this time that you went back to but luckily coincidentally it is a peaceful time that you went back to because you have to prevent, you know, the stuff in the future from happening. So you, you go on a whole hunt and find Celebi. Obviously, with throughout this, you're kind of training Pokemon, catching new Pokemon and everything. Training them up, fighting different people here and there. And then you eventually find Celebi. And the whole point of finding Celebi is for him to become your companion. So the thought I had was like, within Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Coronan or Maradon, they were kind of like your your buddy. They were your pals throughout the entire game from the beginning. So you would find Celebi pretty early on in the game. I'd say roughly within like four hours of the storyline commencing or whatever. But Celebi is basically your buddy Pokemon throughout the entire time. So you could still have a whole team of, you know, six other Pokemon, but then you also have access to Celebi whenever you want. So when you get Celebi, you also have to do other tasks here and there, side quests, missions, main storyline stuff. You unlock different things for Celebi to do, such as, you know, time traveling a certain amount of time, if that makes any sense. Then once you and Celebi can actually time travel throughout any time, any point in time, you time travel throughout 
different years advancing slowly and slowly into the future, into the current day or your current day as this game takes place, and you stop the all-out Pokemon war from happening and you save all the regions throughout the entire world. So I think the coolest thing about this would just be like the Pokemon designs and kind of the, the style animation of the game. Because if this were to actually be a real game, I would imagine it'd be a really big, like large game. It would have to be built in depth and everything. I'd also want a lot more of side quests. I feel like Scarlet and Violet didn't have enough side quests, like random missions to do. So it'd be great to have a lot of other random side quests to just get, you know, cool, cool inventory items, aesthetic skins, whatever. Cool item. I hope all this makes sense. I'm not a story writer by any means. So if you're confused by anything, comment down below. I'd love to hear what your input is, like, like what your opinion or what you would like to change or add on to the storyline. But overall, the whole grand idea is like, you start off in the future, you go back in time to try to to fix and alter different events that will lead to a Pokemon War not happening because in your time it it did happen and everything got destroyed pretty much. So you have to pretty much fix that from happening and alter the alter the past technically, like alter the past and the future, if that makes sense. Using Celebi as your your pal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more like theoretical, like fake Pokemon game type videos like this, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear any input you guys have. Hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.